The mystery of a missing boater is closer to being solved tonight. Authorities believe a body found at the mouth of the Manatee River may be the Palmetto High School teacher who vanished last week. Our Chris Trankman is live in Manatee County to explain. Chris? Well, investigators here at the sheriff's office say they are confident that after the autopsy is performed on the body tomorrow, they will be able to positively identify Patrick Mullins and explain how he died. Southwest of the Skyway and a half mile from the shore of Emerson Point, a fisherman discovered a body attached to an anchor in very shallow water. It was tentatively identified as Patrick Mullins, the Bradenton boater who vanished January 27th. You can go from the channel, which is extremely deep, off the channel where it could be two to three foot of water. And that's where this body was. When the Manatee County Sheriff's Marine Unit arrived, they were able to recover an ID from the body that matched the 52-year-old. Mullins was a media specialist at Palmetto High School. And for days, the student body was left with questions about his disappearance. Yeah, a lot of kids were like, oh my gosh, what happened to Mr. Mullins? And everybody was coming up with crazy stories. And they just really wanted them to find him. The Coast Guard and Florida's Fish and Wildlife Commission helped in the search that lasted for days, covering thousands of square miles. Last week, they found Mullins' boat, a 17-foot stump knocker adrift near Egmont Key. While they don't know how he died, there's some closure for his students. Yeah, I think it'll help people move on because after, without them knowing, they wouldn't know what to do, and they don't know if he's actually dead or not. Yeah, a lot of students, like, they really liked him, and he, like, made the library and everything like a fun place. And to honor Patrick Mullins, a memorial is being set up at Palmetto High after school on Thursday. We're live in Manatee County, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.